Hello and welcome back. This video we're going to get into setting up for a 5.1 surround session. Now 5.1 refers to the number of speakers. So I have five speakers, left, center, and right, and two surrounds, and the dot one is my LFE. Not a subwoofer, but an LFE, and we'll get into that a little bit. So the first thing you need to know is you must have an audio interface that has at least six outputs. They can be analog, they can be digital, whatever the format you want, as long as you can use those six outputs to get to the speakers that you have for this configuration. Most commonly it's analog outputs going to speakers with analog inputs. Uh, you might have speakers that are able to deal with uh, AES digital inputs, that, that would be fine as well. So anyway, uh, whatever number of outputs you have on your audio interface, it must have six to accommodate the 5.1 speakers. Same thing applies for a 7.1, that's just two more speakers, eight total. Uh, 7.1 would be left, center, right, two side speakers and then two surround speakers that make up the seven speakers, and then the dot one, of course, is the LFE again. So um, audio interface, and then secondly, you have to have the ability to, to monitor or control the volume of all of those speakers with a single volume knob. Um, let's get into Pro Tools. All right, so I have a session here that I've created, and you have the ability to choose a 5-1 format when you create the session right out of the gate. So in the I.O. settings, I could select 5-1 Film, 5-1 SMPTE, or 5-1 DTS. The standard here in Los Angeles where I am is SMPTE, and simply that means the, uh, the, 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 the configuration of the channels, left being channel one, right being channel two, center being channel three, LFE channel four, left surround channel five, and, and right surround uh, channel six. Uh, these other film and DTS basically kind of swap those uh, channel configurations around, and I'll, we'll get into that a little bit as well. So I'm going to use SMPTE. Uh, for my session, but I'm going to build it rather than use the I.O. settings. So I'm going to hit cancel here and I'm going to go into the I.O. setup and look at my output tab. And you can see that this session was set up for stereo and the matrix, the Avid Matrix Studio has many outputs. It's got a, a variety of uh, analog outputs, uh, ADAT, um, and uh, Dante output. So Dante is another valid output um, option for getting to your 5.1 speakers. I'm gonna use my analog outputs. Uh, I am in the output tab of the IO setup and I'm going to just delete the first three stereo outputs, right? Cause I need six channels as a single output and I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna create a new path and I'm going to make it a 5.1 and I'm going to call it 5.1 main. You can call it whatever you'd like, but I am going to add the default channel assignments and that's important in a minute. So I'm going to hit create and it put it right there. I'm going to bump it to the top. Now the format that it created here is not SMPTE. Uh, so in order to get to the SMPTE format that I want, where left is one, right is two, I'm just going to click and drag these chiclets to the right location for SMPTE. And if you're not sure what that is, if you look at the bottom of the uh, uh, output tab in the IO setup window, you can look at the path order down here. And the 5.1 uh, menu here will show you what the format, the channel layout is. So for film, it's left, center, right, left surround, right surround, LFE. For SMPTE, what I'm using is left, right, center, sub, left surround, right surround. And of course, DTS is left, right, left surround, right surround, center, LFE. So uh, same 5.1 format, but just the channels as they output are, are, are laid out slightly different. Okay, so I've set mine up to be um, SMPTE, left, right, center, sub, left surround, right surround, and that's my output. And the rest of these outputs are physical outputs that I could use for my audio interface. I don't really need them at this point. I'm gonna go to the bus tab. I'm going to option click in here on a Mac. This will select all of the paths. It's alt click with a Windows machine and hit delete. And I'm going to hit default. And it should create new buses based on uh, or including that 5.1 path that I created a second ago. And here it is 
And down below, the, the top section of this list here is physical outputs or out, or uh, buses that have been mapped to physical outputs. And that's all the way down to um, Studio 6364. And I know that because the mapping to output column is checked and it's assigned to an output. Down below that is all of the internal buses that I currently have, and uh, I only have stereo buses in there. So I'm going to create uh, a few different internal 5.1 buses. So I'm going to create new path, and I'm going to select 5.1 as my bus, and I'm going to just call it 5.1 uh, bus, and it will number them for me. And I want to make sure I auto create sub paths. That's important. And oh shoot, I only did one. Let me do another. Sorry. New path 5.1. I'm going to do three more. So for four total, and I'm going to go 5.1 bus, and I'll name this one two. And of course, I'm going to have to rename it. Okay, so there's two and three and four. Okay, so now I have a single 5.1 output. I have four 5.1 internal buses. I'm gonna click okay. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a 5.1 master fader. Now, this is um, one way to do it. This is not the only way to do it. I'm doing a kind of a simple setup to start with here. So I'm gonna create a 5.1 master fader. And there it is. And I can see by the meters on that fader that it is 5.1. If you look very closely at the meters, it's a 5.1. There's six meters in there, right? Okay, so uh, next I'll create just a mono audio track. And we'll leave it like that. And I'm gonna name it Tone because I wanna use um, a signal generator. And I'm gonna put that right here. And this should be able to route to any one of the outputs that I want to get to, and I'm going to mute it for now. Uh, you'll notice that the output defaulted to stereo, so if I go to my output list for that track, the output selector, the top one is 5.1 main, it selected stereo. All of these paths below the 5.1 main are the subpaths that we created by checking that box in the uh, IO setup. This allows me to route a track specifically to a particular f uh, speaker if I wanted to, left only, or maybe I want to send something to the left and right channels only. I can select that, which is what this is right here. Maybe I want to send something to the surrounds only. I could select the um, where are they? Stereo? Oh, they don't have them in here. Okay, well, I could create that. Or I could do a quad. That would be left, right, and left surround, right surround. And we're going to create a couple of those. So I'm going to go up to 5.1 main. And you'll notice that uh, the output is selected. And if I click the output window button to the right end of the output selector, I get the 5.1 panner. Now, if I unmute this, and I route this, you can see as I route this signal generator around the 5-1 the, uh, field, you'll see the metering on the master fader reflect the routing that I'm doing of this signal generator. And I will also see that up at the top of the window, I have the main output uh, meter up at the top of the edit window, which I find handy. And as I pan this through, you'll see it follow the five channels. And now I can also take the LFE channel up. That's on a separate fader, so I have the ability to route this signal discreetly to my LFE, my subwoofer, my LFE channel. Um, there, so that's the most basic routing. We're gonna dig in, stand by. I've added a stereo music file to this session. I have my tone track, which I'm, is muted. I'm going to hide that for a second. So I have my, my 5.1 master fader, and I have a stereo music track. And I'm just going to show some of the output options that we have available to any of the tracks in the session now. So uh, by default, it's a stereo track. So it was assigned to the... Um, stereo output of that 5.1 main. So remember when we created the 5.1 main output, six channels, it had subpaths within that 5.1 main. One of them is a stereo output to left and right only. So if I play this, I'm going to bring the volume of the master fader down a little bit so we don't 
uh, so you can hear me talk. Um, this stereo music bed is coming out uh, through, if we look at the master fader, or better yet, if I, if I look at the meters, the output meters at the top of the edit window, it's coming out left and right only. And of course I have volume control and all that. Um, I can also choose to send it elsewhere if I want. So I'm gonna choose to send it, I'll, I'll bring up the 5.1 the main output. <clears throat> now I can bring up the 5.1 surround panner and I have the option to put this stereo music file or music bed anywhere I want within this 5.1 uh, field. So right now it's defaulted to left and right and I can see that in the output meters above. I can bring the pucks back and bring them out the surrounds only. I don't have any surrounds connected, so you can't hear that. Or I can pan them anywhere that I want. So I can blend them between the front and the rear speakers. And you again, look at the output meters. It's coming out both the fronts and the surrounds. And I can automate this quite easily. We'll get into the panner in a little bit. So that's a stereo uh, track playing out a 5-1 output. All right, so let's try a couple other options here. So within that subset uh, set of paths under the 5.1 main, uh, I can do 5.1, which would eliminate my LFE, which I forgot to show on this one, right? So I do have the LFE channel here in the center, so I can send that out too, discreetly. Okay, let's go to the uh, 5.1 main quad. Now that's four speakers. That eliminates the center channel. Uh, but keeps my left, right, left surround, right surround, and, and no LFE ac uh, ac um, access here. So if I start playback, I can pan it all the way to the back or to the front. And of course, I have volume control of the overall fader here. So this is just the four speakers or quad. And let's see, I could go out LCR if I wanted to. Now that's a little bit different because I have a stereo output, um, so I probably wouldn't send that to the LCR, but dialog would be a good example, or, or effects, where I want uh, this uh, mono track typically, but you could do it with stereo. Uh, something to only hit the left, the center, and the right channels only. It would allow me to pan back and forth. Um, let's go back up. Now I have access to individual mono outputs, uh, but what I don't see is surrounds only. So I'm going to create that as a subpath. I'm going to go to my IO setup and go to the bus and I'm going to expand the view of my 5.1 main output and you see all the subpaths that were created automatically. I want to add one. So I'm going to select the, the main uh, path and I'm going to create a new subpath down here. And it's stereo 5.1 main surrounds. Hit create, and there it is. So I'm gonna bump it up right below the stereo, and I'm gonna put a one on there. I'm gonna get rid of that. <clears throat> okay, so there's my 5.1 uh, surround. So I'm gonna click okay. Now on that stereo music track, I have the option to send this stereo music out the surrounds only. Just like I had the option to go to stereo only, I now have the option to go to surrounds only. And if I hit play, uh, it's coming out, whoops, left and right. Did I select the wrong one? I surely did. Oh, well, you know what? I forgot to patch it correctly. Let me fix that. All right, so keep an eye out for this. By default, when I created a stereo subpath, it put the left and right in the left and right channels, which makes sense. I'm going to change that. I want that to go the left channel to go left surround and the right channel to go right surround. So I forgot to do the correct patching. All right. Now, if I hit play, I don't hear it out of my front channels, but I do see it coming out of the surround channels in my output meter. Of course, I have volume control. Now, here's another uh, method. If I want to have the music coming out the left and right, and I want to have separate volume control out of this music coming out of the surrounds, I can do that as well. So I'll set the main output of the track to go 5.1 main stereo, uh, and I'll create a send on that track to go output 5.1 main surrounds. So now I can have discrete volume between the front left and right 
and the rear left and right. So here's my volume going to the surrounds. And I could have a separate volume on the front. Oops, let me make this pre. Now there's my surrounds volume, and here's my left and right front volume. And of course I can have them both and have them blended with each other so that I can have control over that. All right, so that's the stereo output. And um, cool, automate this, levels can change, all that, all good.